All right, we are live, take two. I hope you can hear me this time. If not, I don't know what's going wrong and I'm already so fed up with the day. I hope you guys can hear me. It looks like I've got audio, so please tell me you can hear me this time. Please don't feel the chat up saying it's muted. Please don't. Can you guys hear me or nah? Or is it or is it or is it big dead? Audio's good. Alright, cool. Great, grand. I'm so not even in the mood anymore now. <sighs> Welcome to the stream, boys. How we doing? Thank you for coming through. Should be new packs today. I've already done my fucking intro, nobody heard it. Cause... My editing software decided to not work yesterday. My monitor decided to not work yesterday. Now my mic decided to not work today. Isn't everything just fucking fantastic in the world? Isn't everything just great? All right, let me go ahead and tweet out that I'm live. Oh, I don't really fucking care to do this shit, man. Uh, live new Tuesday content. There's nothing even on the database yet, though. Even though we're less than an hour away. I don't think there is anyway. Hot start, bro, I'm already so triggered. I'm already so triggered. I've got the database up, nothing on the database as of yet. Oh, the camera won't work tomorrow? Maybe. And the PlayStation will break and then that'll probably be about it. And then I'll break and that will be it. That'll be the end of it. That'll be the end of it. Right, let's go into some, uh, some spotlights. Let's get these out of the way. Anjan, I will try. I will try. We're only five Lakers players out here. Uh, Matthias was good. <laughs> Chris, yeah, that's kind of wild, isn't it? That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I had to unplug everything and plug everything back in and hope it worked. It was like nothing was muted. Like, I just had to reset everything. And yesterday we had to just reset the Elgato as well. And that was a problem with the monitor as well. So, I don't know. Everything's just deciding to not work lately, which is just great. I mean, I'm actually loving this. It's fantastic. It's incredible. Um, why am I so down today? Because things just don't work, man. Things just don't work. It really triggers me. I still haven't found out about my car. Like, I went and saw it earlier. It's in a bad state. I do not want the car back at all. Um, which in itself is sad. Um, but yeah, I've rang up the insurance two times. Still haven't heard anything back. And now the fact that I'm live, now that I'm working, if they ring me now, I'm not going to be able to take that call. So it's just... It's more waiting around, man. More waiting around and uh, not having things resolved. And it's just, it's just getting me. It's getting to me, man. It's getting to me. Uh, Tim, hello, welcome to the stream. But welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you for coming through. I do appreciate that. Um, and yes, Anne, I do agree. I do agree. Let's get him out of here. See you later. Uh, John, for real? I don't even know where I could see that. No, it says there's no restrictions. It says nothing. Right, well, we'll get into this game and we'll see um, see how it's going to go. Restrictions. No, it's definitely none. Definitely, definitely none. But anyway, database is up. Nothing on there as of yet. We don't know what con. Uh, we don't know what content. We don't know what um, country is going to be. I did ask on Twitter what you guys thought the country was going to be. A lot of people thinking Canada. Obviously, we only just had uh, an Andrew Wiggins come through, and we all thought Andrew Wiggins was going to lead the way. It still could be someone like an RJ Barrett leading the way. Um, there should be a new country promo today. There should be, Matthew. There should be. But uh, as of right now, it's just nothing on the database. Everything's quiet. Everything's just everything's just nothing, isn't it? Uh, Mo, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. And Kyrie, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Canada promo today. I mean... There was that leak last week, but that was just that. It was a leak. It was a fake leak. It was proven to be fake because the person who made it uh, came out and said, I made this. This is how I tricked people, which is so dead. You guys know my stance on uh, on fake leaks. I think they're really trash. The people who do them are really trash because it just gets people's hopes up for nothing. And what's the point of putting fake information into the world? Like, what good is that going to do? I don't get it. Um, so anyway, that was that was completely fake. There was nothing to that. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, rape check. I don't trust you. And trust me. Fuck off. Uh, big heck. Not really. But you know, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. 
um, why are people trying? I don't know. They think it's funny. They think it's cool. I don't know. They were like, oh, look, I tricked the whole community. We've seen it a few times now, actually. Uh, and it's because every YouTuber just runs with it. As soon as they see a picture, they're like, oh, shit, I better make a video on that real quick. And then it's just out there for, for everybody to see. So, yeah, that's why they do it, because <laughs> they do get publicity. Uh, Jay Wiz with a two euro donation saying, sorry for it. Bro, there's no need for you to be sorry. There's no need for anybody to be sorry about it. But uh, thank you very much for the donation, bro. I do appreciate that. Have I got my alerts up? I do, yes. What do I? Why has it not come through Streamlabs? Oh, God. Good. Another thing that doesn't work. Oh, I love technology so much. I love when things just stop working. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> dear mid true. Mohammed was good. Uh, George, not yet, my friend, not yet. Um, so all of yesterday, my car was being treated to by forensics. Like the whole of yesterday, because uh, it was it was already like not seized, but like taken to a, a holding unit. And then all of yesterday had forensics on it. This morning, for a good, like, two hours, uh, there was, like, a forensics woman taking all of the stolen items out of the car and, like, bagging it all up as evidence. So quite a lot. Quite a lot going on for uh, my little car, and I did get to see it this morning. Um, it's not in a good state. It is absolutely filthy. It's like it's been driven off-road exclusively, it's driven about 500 miles since it got stolen. 500 miles in less than three weeks, and it wasn't spotted by the police. It blows my mind. Yes, it was on fake plates, but the car itself is still exactly the same. Like, all the mods are still on it. It's still incredibly recognisable. 500 miles it, it was driven. It was driven really badly because the MPG... Uh, when I left it, it was roughly around 39 and that's with me driving it. I, I don't drive it too badly. I, I'd say spirited driving. Sometimes I drove it, drove it fast, sometimes just pooling along. And that was averaging around about 39 MPG. It was down at 29 and they hadn't reset the clock. So that was including my 39. So that means they drove it so badly to bring the average down when the average wasn't even that bad. So it was driven horrendously. Um, there was the wing mirrors broken. The uh, door handle was broken. The door panel, the driver's side door had a massive dent in it, and the driver's side rear quarter panel had a massive dent in it. Uh, the steering wheel cover had been like jimmied off, so like where the where the airbag would be, that had been taken off. The steering wheel column, so like where you have your steering wheel, the entire column felt like looks like it's been like yeeted out. Um, so that wasn't good. Inside it, just absolutely filthy so many stains everywhere it stunk of cigarettes um they found so much in the car i honestly could not believe it so it was used in two burglaries not last night the night before and there's like articles about this online like it's a proper proper crime thing it was used in two burglaries um and there was genuinely two to three hundred packets of cigarettes in the car which i, I like saw two to three hundred packets of cigarettes like, 10 big, like, 3 litre bottles of alcohol in there. There was a huge, like, tow rope, like, industrial strength tow rope. They found a switchblade in there. Um, they found, I don't know, some other, like, drug thing. They didn't say what it was, but some, like, drug thing. I don't know. Um, there was, like, a McDonald's packet in there. There was, like, USBs in there. There was cables in there. Like, there was, uh, there's like, um, a tool kit in there. There was, like, wrenches and stuff over the back seat so much and uh, i don't know what they did but it, it ran out of fuel the reason why they dumped it and they dumped it in a, in a pub car park um it ran out of fuel it literally had zero miles left on the clock so they clearly just ran ran and ran until it uh until it ran out of fuel dumped it there and just and just ran away from it so yeah really really bad um I can't believe how bad it was in terms of the state of it. I can't believe how dirty it was everywhere. It just I don't understand how they've driven it or like where they've driven it. And the inside was so bad and like that it actually stunk. Um oh Patrick joining the team. My man, Pecon coming through. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you that because <laughs> now, now I can make that a bit of a joke. Pecon coming through, joining the team out here on YouTube, and he's already a member over on Twitch. So shout out to you, bro. Thank you very much. Um, I'll, I'll maybe link the uh, the article on uh, 
on my uh, Twitter later on so people can see that, uh, yeah, it was a proper, like, documented crime, or well, crimes are multiple, that it's been, uh, that it's been used in, and I like how he says, at least it's been found now, so I'm never going to be looking around on the road. That's live, uh, that's live, that's loud. I'm never going to be looking around on the road, like, trying to see it or trying to find it. Like, I know where it is now. Uh, but yeah, it's just very sad. I'll maybe put some pictures up later on on Twitter, but so I haven't figured it out with uh, the insurance company yet, so I don't know if I should be releasing pictures of a, a car that's in within a claim. I don't really know because the insurance t company are really useless, and I'm I'm just so I'm just so done with it, with with everything, man. Absolutely everything. It was meant to be sorted on Monday. It was meant to be. Was that yesterday? Yeah, it was meant to be sorted yesterday, uh, and that was meant to be it. I was meant to get my payout from the insurance, and I'd already started moving on. And now it's just all up in the air again, and just having to chase people over and over and over again, getting no answers, and yeah. It just sucks, man. It just sucks. Uh, Mick, appreciate that, bro. Thank you for coming through, man. And congratulations on getting a... Uh, oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. You got the frog, yeah? You got the frog in game one, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, actually, don't tell me if I'm wrong. I don't need that today. <laughs> just tell me I'm right regardless. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, but yeah. In general, boys, not not a good situation. Big sad for sure. Um, why have I got Kenrick Williams out here? This is a good. This is a tough game. Um, but yeah, it's been really, 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 really shit. And the car had been treated so badly, but there was so much in there that they were going to find DNA on. Sure, like there, there were clothes in the car. Um, there was floss. There was fucking floss. Why are they flossing in my car? I'm not talking about the dance move, am I? Like, why is that there? I don't know. Like I said, there was McDonald's wrappers, there was tissues, there was so much of everything that's going to have so much DNA on it. So surely they're going to be able to find these people and uh, and take them away. But 500 miles that car was driven around for. And the fact that it was found locally means that they didn't drive the car like 500 miles cross country. They kept it in the country, or in the, in the county, sorry. They kept it in the county. So, 500 miles on the roads around here. How the fuck did the police not find it, man? Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, the more I think about it, the more I just get frustrated. The more I just get frustrated. But it's been found now, but again, not through like police work. It was found because it was abandoned. Um,. But yeah, it, I really would not want that car back now. Like, never. And I don't think I'm ever going to get it back. It would cost so much to repair. Whatever internal damage it's going to have now from being driven so badly. And like, the clutch is probably fucked. Like, there's, there's so much that's going to be done with it. So, it should just be a write-off. The woman at the, at the garage was like, I've seen cars written off for a lot worse. Like, this is not in good condition. I was like, yeah, it doesn't look like it. It really doesn't look like it. Uh, I know, Mick, I know. Well, this is the first time me or my family have ever had anything to do with the police. Like, not a crime family, funnily enough. Uh, we've never had to deal with them in any shape, way or form, apart from being caught speeding, but that's different. Um, and yeah, it's been uh, a lot worse than we could have imagined. A lot worse than we could have imagined, but oh well, oh well. Uh, big diamond heist, yeah, no, just some cigarettes and some alcohol that they didn't even take with them, so, yeah, kind of mad, kind of mad, speed boost, I don't even know what's going on out here, I'm not even paying attention, uh, Juju was good, welcome to the stream, how we doing, let's check the database, database is still empty, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on the screen, I'm not even looking, <laughs> I ain't even looking at the fucking screen, I don't know what's going on. I need to get rid of this KG, I do know that. This is not my KG. I know somebody's just asked me if I bought another KG. No, I didn't. This is the this is the same KG that uh, 2K gave me. I just haven't discarded it yet because I haven't been on 2K like at all, man. I haven't been on 2K at all. Uh, yesterday, we didn't do a stream because I was just... Yeah, it's still just all over the place like I am today. Didn't do a stream yesterday. I was on 2K for 10 minutes yesterday to record my video. That was it. Um, Sunday, did we do a stream Sunday? We did, we didn't do one Saturday, so, yeah. Not good. And Johnny, yeah, basically, basically. Uh, that is, uh, what happened, so. You've stolen a car, used it in robberies, and then dumped the stolen car and the stolen goods that you stole 
and you're running away with none of it. Like, I just, I just don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense. And you've left so much evidence in the car. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But oh well. Joseph, what's good? Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Come on, 2K. Just update the fucking database, man. Give me something to talk about. Give me something to change my mind, please, 2K. Or to make my mind different. Or what am I trying to say? Tell my mind off things. There we go. I can talk. Not very well, but, you know. May end up on the world's dumbest criminals, honestly. I think it could be. The thing is, they robbed co-ops, which are quite a big, quite a big, uh, like, shop chain out here. I don't know if it is in America, but out here, co-op is a pretty big food chain, or, like, shop chain. So, um, surely they're going to have CCTV, and surely they're going to be able to see those people on the CCTV. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Nothing to say but super packs. Pfft, I haven't got a clue, man. I haven't got a clue. I mean, yeah, the super pack's pretty much guaranteed, but whether or not there's a a new um, country promo in it, I assume there will be because there's only been four promos so far, or there's only four uh, countries so far, and every other season it's always been five. I know the season's a little bit smaller, but I've never done it with just four sets of spotlights, so... Oh, no, we'll have to wait and see. Nothing so far is disappointing, for sure. The watch Space, Space with Bird, is fantastic. Man's got a, man's got a voice that I wish I could have. <laughs> I wish I could have that. James, that's good. Oh, no. Catch you later, man. Thank you for coming through. And Johnny, you'd hope not, bro. You really, really, really would hope not. But we'll have to just wait and see. We'll have to just wait and see. Imagine if we don't get to Super Packs today. Let's leave it how it is. I mean, that's why I haven't put anything in the title. Because I, I don't know if anything's coming today. I don't want to tweet out saying that there's going to be things coming out today. Or have my thumbnail in, insinuating that things coming out today. I don't have a clue. We'll wait and see. When 4 o'clock rolls around, we'll see if anything's out there. If not, it is what it is. Do I think there's going to be a lock-in for Swallow cards? Absolutely not, man. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm guessing if there's a new Canada, Anthony Bennett will be on the cards. I think if it's Anthony Bennett, it should be a uh, pink diamond uh, RJ Barrett. Or even a Galaxy Opal RJ Barrett. That'd be a pretty sick card. That I'd be happy with. That I'd be happy with. But the fact we've already had... Uh, you know, the Pink Diamond, not Pink Diamond, yeah, Pink Diamond, Andrew Wiggins, I don't know, I don't know, uh, Claudius was good, Liam was good, nothing as of yet, Heisenberg's out here as well, hello my friend, how we doing? I might do a video on my uh, car situation, obviously when it's all resolved and I'm a little bit more happy, uh, I might do a video on it, because I guess it is a, a story to be told, um, and I've got like loads of pictures of what it looks like now and how bad it looks and how beaten up it looks. It's got no number plates on it either because obviously they had fake plates on it. So my original number plates are somewhere in the world. God knows where. Uh, but yeah, a car without number plates just looks rough and broken and not bright. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't look right, man, which is sad. Uh, this is not a Hall of Fame game, Carlton. This is... All-Star, I believe this is the third game, so I think it's an All-Star difficulty one. Um, I would not be winning by 33 playing like I am now if it was on uh, if it was on Hall of Fame difficulty. That would not be the case. <laughs> That'd be, uh, that would not be the case. Uh, forget Anthony uh, Bennett, the My Team community would go insane. I mean, I can't remember the last Anthony Bennett card we got. I think I remember him with a bronze card at some point. Am I right in saying that? I think I think he had a bronze card once upon a time, but I, I honestly have no idea when his last one was. Um, are there packs today? There will be some type of packs. Whether or not they'll have new cards in it. We'll have to wait and see. Miguel was good. Who am I going for right now? Uh, Sydney Wicks. So the card that I did the first spotlight for, we're finally, finally coming around to finishing. So we've got three games left for him. Two more after this one. We're going to get through all three of those in this stream. And then we'll be uh, we'll be live tonight as well. Uh, where are we? We'll be live tonight as well over on Twitch, and uh, we'll get through a few of Don Boo Boost Don Boost his challenges. Uh, so 3 p.m. Uh, it's not 3 p.m. Time has changed. 8 p.m. GMT, 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. We'll be live over on Twitch. Uh, Victor, they didn't man. Sadly, it wasn't in there, which sucks. No, the rest of the car sucks. Just a little bit more. Uh, Lofty's out here was good. Hope streaming brings you some joy. I hope so as too, man. I, I hope so, bro. 
I was just hoping that we get some type of content and I could just take my mind off things for a little bit, but even 2K is going to be letting me down today, bro. Even 2K is going to be letting us down today. Lee's got season uh, six on Friday to uh, to look forward to and uh, get excited about. And we will be getting Galaxy Open West on sale in the next few days, so that's exciting. So we've got a few things going for us, but uh, yeah, in general, uh, it's just rough. Like I said, everything's just still so up in the air, man. Uh, that's, that's what frustrates me. That's what's just like weighing on me right now. It's just, like there's so much that's not certain. Like, I don't know if they're just going to be like, oh, no, we can fix that, and then you can have it back. Like, I don't want the car back. Like, not in the slides. I don't want any part of it, man. It's been used in crimes by people for three weeks. That's driven 500 miles, which is quite a bit. So, I've been in there for ages. It fucking stinks. There's stains everywhere. I don't want that car back. I want them to take it. Just give me my insurance payout, and that'll be it, and we'll be done. But, <sighs> we'll have to wait and see, man. Uh, Derek, what's good? Welcome to the stream. How we doing? Uh, Anthony, no, I wasn't ready for a new one, man. It was a, it was a 2015 plate, but it only had 49,000 miles on it. Um, what crimes? Burglaries, man. Two burglaries. Um, Vice the Pistol Pete for season six, level 40. Nah, no chance, man. Absolutely no chance. Nowhere near a big enough name for a, uh, for a level 40 reward. Let's be real. He's got, yeah, no, mo, for sure, for sure. Like, like I said, I'm never going to be always driving around. And every time I see a red car being like, oh, damn, that could be mine. Like, at least we've got that that type of closure. At least I know now that where it is. And, um, you know, the person at the garage, I gave my number there. And I was like, she was like, do you want any updates on the car? And I was like, yeah, sure, give me updates if anything happens with it. Or if anything happens with the case, like, let me know. Let me know what's going down. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll get some more updates on it. But uh, for the time being, I imagine it's just going to be written off. And uh, insurance will take it. And that'll... Uh, That'll be that, but yeah, just waiting on, on confirmation of that. I wouldn't want to have a car that's been used in burglaries. Neither do I, my friend. Neither do I. In two, nonetheless. In two. Uh, Rocket was good. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How we doing? Um, think current six will be a current player? I've got no idea. They've done some current, some uh, former. You know, D-Rob and Dwayne Wade as former, and then the other four being current day cards. Did they get caught? Sadly not, man. They, they dumped the car. They dumped all of the... Uh, you know, cigarettes and alcohol that they stole. It was all still in the car. So, uh, yeah. Regrettably, they have not been found, but there was so much DNA on that car. Surely there's so many fingerprints. There's so much evidence in there. There's no way they can't track them down, surely. There is absolutely no way they can't track them down. So, I do just really, really, really hope that uh, that they managed to get them. Uh, Gerald, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Jordan, yeah, it's it's tough. So, yeah, I've got I've got to start looking for a new car now as well. Um, which obviously in the in the first place I didn't really want to do anyway, but yeah, it is what it is. These are stupid, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's so dumb to steal things to then not even take the items that you've stolen. Like you've committed a crime to not even reap the benefits of said crime. I, I just don't, <laughs> I don't get it, man. Cool NCIS, bruh, <laughs> bruh. I mean, I just hope they do something, and I hope they find it. But the way it sounded, the way the way she said, like you know, forensics were on it all day yesterday, and that doesn't usually happen. They are taking it quite seriously, rather than just a standard stolen car. They're taking it more seriously because it was used in other crimes, and they they might be able to link it to more crimes. But they know for sure it was used in two crimes, so that's why they're taking that seriously. So technically, three crimes, you know, the stolen car and then two burglaries. So. They should be putting time and resources into it, man. They should be. Uh, do they leave the car somewhere? Yeah, they just left it abandoned in a car park. That was it. In a pub car park. Uh, that was it. So, mad. Mad, mad, mad. Uh, to get car. <laughs> Johnny, yeah, imagine, bro. Imagine. Like I said, I might do a video on it at some point. At some point, we might do. Right, nothing on the database. We've only got half an hour to go, boys. I got half an hour to go, so uh, yeah, it's not looking like anything's gonna be coming through. Mohammed, nah, nothing on the database, bro. Nothing on the DB. If they only leave it with four spotlight players, well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Well, you'd think they'd round it out to five, but I guess not. I guess not. Uh, which, yeah, lovely, that's true. That's true. Suppose police have time to learn the system. I mean, hopefully they can track them down, and there's gonna be everything. If they know how to steal these cars, then you'd hope they're on the database somewhere. But yeah. Uh, it would be crazy, but Dark Matter Giannis for, seven, for level 40 that could play point guard? Jesus Christ. 
I mean, that would be literally everybody in the community would grind for that card. There would be nobody that wouldn't have a Galaxy, a Dark Matter point guard Giannis. That would be way too OP. It might be a standard Giannis. It might be a Dark Matter Giannis, you know, small forward. Um, and uh, then they could obviously drop a Dark Matter Giannis point guard impact at some point. Uh, was it found close to where it was stolen from? Um, yeah, reasonably. Which is, again, another reason for uh, for frustration. Let me see how far away they are. Get out of the paint, get out of the paint. So, from where it was stolen to where it was found is a grand total of 20 minutes. So, it was found 20 minutes away from where it was, uh, from where it was originally stolen from. Like I said, it had driven 500 miles. So, clearly not 500 miles, like, outside of the county how there weren't sightings of it, how people didn't call it in, how the police didn't find it, it just blows my mind, man. Blows my mind, but uh, at least there is closure on it now. I think I'll be more happy when I, when I just get the insurance sorted. Like I said, I've rang twice a day. Still haven't even got a fucking call back, so that's great. Um, I love having to keep chasing people when I'm the one who's been put out. Life's just great, man. It really is. Being an adult is fan-fucking-tastic, bro. Oh dear. Uh, are we getting new super packs today? Yeah, we will getting we'll be getting a super pack today. Probably like best of uh best of season five, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Uh Giannis for level four was your pick as well. I mean I can I I can see it. A Giannis, a Ben Simmons maybe. Um Carmelo Anthony is definitely somebody. And uh Jensen, yeah, exactly, man. It does stick out like a sore thumb, that's the thing. Like, there's literally not a single car in this county that looks like it. I've never driven past one and gone, oh, wow, that's exactly the same. Never. Never, ever. So, oh, I don't know. Best of 2K? Yeah, it could be best of 2K. Uh, Anya, hello. Welcome to the stream today. Thank you for coming through. Nah, nothing on the database. I think we're probably going to be uh, probably gonna be dead on the database. Um, Boy, yeah, I know. it. I know there's other people out there that... that are, going through things as well but obviously this is like first hand for me but yeah it does suck bro it does suck i don't see what they gained i mean obviously the, the people that stole it didn't gain anything because they've burgled somewhere they've brought a lot more attention to themselves and they didn't get what they stole like the stuff they stole is now in police like i've literally seen it this morning like i, I saw everything they stole which was a lot but they don't have it so what was the fucking point in stealing it if they don't even have it? I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, XP today? It could be XP today. I don't I don't know. We got some yesterday, didn't we, with the uh, Galaxy... No, that was already out. Oh, no, that was new. That was new. Um, the Galaxy Opal uh, Reward Market XP came out with Gary Payton and Moses Malone. So about 5k XP was added into the game yesterday. I don't know, man. Oh, no. Carmelo Team USA at some point. I mean, maybe. Is that flagrant? No, maybe. I can definitely see a, a Carmelo for level 40. I can never see a Carmelo for level 40. Supposed to drink some of it at level they couldn't carry? Nah, bro. There was, they, they did not steal that for a personal use, man. There was literally, like... I, I wish I knew exactly how much there was, but... Probably could have been up to, like, 400 packets of cigarettes. Like, two full black bin liners filled to the brim with cigarette packets, two of them full, and then the boot was just full of alcohol, like, they did not take that personal, use. I don't know what they took, I don't know what they took it for, but they didn't even end up with it, so, <sighs> mad, he got trolled with another Don, oh, hey, that's not bad, bro, getting another original owner of Galaxy Opal, that's a dub, you can't be mad with that, you can't be mad with that, we got Tur Kermit three times. Damn, so what, the Opals are coming out of the vault now? Since the update, are the Opals coming out of the vault? Tell you what, we've only got 25 minutes to go until the content comes out, or whatever comes out, comes out, which is a, a little bit bad in terms of uh, timing and scheduling, so that's my bad, but, you know, mic didn't work, so that's cool. And so what we're going to do, we're going to jump into some triple threat offline games after this until 3 o'clock, um, and then when 3 o'clock comes around, we'll have a look and see what new content comes out, whatever that may be. We're not going to open packs because it's going to be super packs. Um, and we'll jump into two more games of spotlights. We'll get those done. Both Hall of Fame games for Sydney Wicks. Get those done and out of the way. And then we'll just be two players away 
from Galaxy Open West on sale, which feels good. And uh, like I said, we'll be live tonight over on Twitch, boys, where we will get through Don Buse, I guess. Not Don Buse, uh, Dave DeBusher. We've got four games left for Dave DeBusher. So uh, if we get through all four of his games, then we're just going to be five games away, which we can play tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. Five games away. We'll do those tomorrow. And then... Uh, Thursday's nobody spent episode can be us uh, getting Galaxy Opal West unsold. And the, the best part about him is he doesn't even need any badges, does he? Let me have a look at his card real quick. I'm pretty sure he comes, like, ready to go out of the pack here. I mean, I guess, like, Ankle Breaker, Space Creator, Stop and Go, Tight Handles, Pickpocket, and Dead Eye. That's it. But, I mean, Dead Eye is the only badge he actually needs, and that's it. Everything else, he's, uh... He's already got. So what a card. So we won't even need to spend too long badging him out. He's already sorted. Uh, in terms of a diamond shoe for him, what do what we say in diamond shoe? He just needs dead eye? Yeah. So he can hold any shoe. A Kobe 6 almost looks like it would be a little bit of a waste. His stats are already that high, but I, I know you guys are going to recommend Kobe 6s. So bring them on, boys. Bring on the Kobe 6 recommendations. Uh, Kareem Season 6. I can't see a Kareem Season 6, I'll be honest, just because, um, wait, can we pull it from here? No, I can't. Uh, just because we've already had a center. We, we literally just got David Robinson, so I can't see another one coming through, I'll be honest. Uh, you need to, we ended up getting Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker from Limited, so meh. I mean, if you guys watched my video yesterday, you know I got Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, which wasn't great. Um, but somebody did say in the comments, and I do agree with this, Giannis will probably come out, and obviously we're waiting for Giannis for Hall of Fame range, Giannis will probably come out, let's have a look at his last card, yeah, so that Giannis didn't have Hall of Fame catch and shoot, so the next Giannis might not have Hall of Fame catch and shoot, so we might be able to add two cards to, uh, to that Giannis, which would be very good indeed, right, so we've got two games left here, one superstar, six Bulls players, I'll tell you what, let's, let's make the team, uh, Okay, this might trigger some people. Trigger warning, okay? Trigger warning. This is the this is the Dark Matter card that 2K gave me to showcase over the weekend. Now, well, I, I'm not I'm not allowed to sell this card. If I could, I would. I'm not allowed to put it up on the auction house in any shape or form, so I can't put it up for a 500 uh, buy now. I can't do anything like that. The only thing I can do with it is discard it. So avert your eyes. I will be discarding a Dark Matter card. I'm very sorry. Uh, he's, oh no, we've got to go again. Oh god, three times. <laughs> sorry, he can't watch. I know. And he's out of here. Oh no, look, he's still here. Look, he's basically still here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, we've had to do that on a lot of cards this year. It hurts. Not going to lie, it, it does hurt. Every time when I do it, it doesn't get easier. We've had to discard, you know... Inferno Opal LeBron, um, Opal AD, Opal MJ. I've had to discard a lot of crazy... He's still there, he's still there, man. He's still clinging on to life. Oh, rip. He's gone. I've had to done a lot. Aren't you allowed? No, I'm not allowed to do uh, anything with it, man. Not allowed to do anything with it. And obviously, being a nobody spend account, I don't want to... Um, I don't want to use a card that 2K has given me. So that's why I decide to... Uh, Go ahead and eat him out the door. So when you see these three cards here, or like when we search here, we go to Opals. All of these cards are mine by right and by virtue. So, yeah, we're, we're good. We can still keep them with the uh, integrity of the series. Pulp was good. Welcome to the stream. We've got 20 minutes to go until nothing, I guess. I don't know. There's still nothing on the database. So 20 minutes until nothing. I don't honestly I have no idea at this point what we're going to see, but... It's not looking great, boys, I'll be honest. It's not looking like anything is going to be coming through. So, Super Packs, I guess, is going to be the order of the day, which kind of sucks. So, in these 20 minutes, let's go ahead and uh, drop some trivia offline games, try and get ourselves a Galaxy Opal. If we get the Frog, that'd be great. If we get ourselves another Don Ole, I've already got Galaxy Opal Don Ole. Quick sell, Luca, hell no. Nah. Uh, I've already got Galaxy Opal Don Ole. Um, so a duplicate of him would not go amiss at all. I would definitely, definitely be happy with a, a duplicate. Galaxy Opal, Don O. Uh, season 5 Super Packs? Yeah, I, I would imagine so. I think I think that's pretty much locked in. Pretty much locked in. I can't see any others. 
Uh, can you do gameplays on the videos? I mean, we do so much gameplays in the streams um, that there's so much to catch up on when we get to the videos. So, I don't know. Maybe at some point we will. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Ackley got Kermit last night. Congrats. Uh, Rocket saying Kermit is so good. I mean, since the vault updated, which was yesterday, since the vault updated yesterday, how many games have you played? And have you guys seen either the Don or the... Uh, the frog. So I've seen a few people, like Mick, said he played one game after the vault update. It's full white glitch. Oh, I love this game so much. Um, one game after it and got the, the frog on game number one. Uh, Mally, hello. Welcome to the stream. We have good price KG. I don't know what you're selling for right now. I think it was like four... Wait, it was 500 uh, on Sunday. I've got no idea what he's at right now. I think it was 450 on Monday, actually. I've got no idea what he's at right now. Um, but... I don't even think he's that crazy good, I'll be honest. So I wouldn't play much. Play seven and you got the frog. You got Don in your second game. Jeez. Played two games of Kermit. I mean, these are the first games we're playing since the vault updated, so you never know. We're going to be able to get through probably five games before three o'clock rolls around. So we'll see in five games if our luck can be in somewhere in my life. Somewhere. Uh, 30 didn't get one, but got Kermit Saturday. Very nice. Over 120, and they got Dom. 200 uh, games this season, haven't got an Opal. Yeah, I mean, in, in general, the system is just completely, completely flawed. Um, and will never be changed, which sucks. Simon's 300 games this season, no Galaxy Opal. Man. Oh, man. Uh, Odran, yeah, I've, I've explained it all already, um, sadly. I might do a video on it, I guess, at some point, but... I don't know why I quick sell KG because it's not my KG, man. That's the one that 2K give me, um, just to use and showcase. We showcased him on uh, on Sunday. We gave away one on Sunday, so yeah, don't need him anymore. Um, 211 games a season, no player or diamond this season. Ugh. That's tough, bro. That is tough. Right, let's see if we can get lucky on the first vault of the day. The first vault since it changed. Let's see. Juan Carlos is a goat to try him. Mo's been trying to get me to try him for a long time, bro. For the longest. And I do really want to try him. But, you know, we've got Luca, man. I've got Luca. All right, we're green. Uh, Jordan, it's this weekend. It's this Saturday, my friend. This Saturday, clocks change and it'll go back to uh, 4 p.m. rather than 3 p.m. All right, we get another badge pack. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Uh, pulp? No, it wasn't, man. It was not. Joe, hello, welcome to the stream. And uh, Mo spent 800k on a KG with Hall of Fame range. Jeez. That was a big baller move right there, bro. Blah, 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 blah. Big baller move, bro. Uh, Michael, what's good? Welcome to the stream. How we doing? I need to put a uh, sub counter thingy up because we're on 29,100. So we're less than 1,000 away, or 900 away from 30,000. That's quite a lot of people. So uh, if anybody is new to the stream, new to the channel, do go ahead and subscribe. I'm usually a lot happier than this. Um, IRL stuffs <laughs> have not been good. Um, but yeah, we do stream out here pretty much every day. We have at least one video every single day as well. And uh, Season 6 coming around this Friday. Uh, and yes, Hammer, that is right. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. How many games away am I from West on Sold? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eleven. Eleven games away from West Unsell, but eleven full games. No triple threat, just full ass five minute quarter games, which is long. But we're gonna get through another two in this stream after packs come out. Uh, Titan was good. How long am I keeping Luca? I'm kind of alright to keep Luca for the longest. I'm not gonna lie. The the only problem I have in it with him is. He's so expensive. Like, there's so much MT tied up in this one card. And I do just think he's going to crash at some point. So, this week I might sell him. Because this week, prices are pretty high, man. Because there's no new content coming out. Uh, apart from Friday. But, you know, there's no new cards this week. Until then. So, I don't know. We'll see. Am I opening up Super Packs? Hell no, bro. Hell no. How much was Luca? So, I bought my one. It's got Hall of Fame clamps on it. Uh, and a Hall of Fame... Uh, Hall of Fame clamps and a diamond shoe and diamond contract and whatnot. Um, 400k. 400 
2000 MT I paid for my card. It's not the Hero one, it is the Quantum one. He is getting really rare. Dimit just said he's really rare on Xbox. He's pretty rare on PlayStation. There was about seven or eight up when I looked earlier. Um, hey, I know doves by a candy bar of me. Candy heals all the wounds, my man. Thank you, bro. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Forty-two dollar donation. I do appreciate that. And I did look for the uh, for the Hershey's bar, but uh, it was not in there. Big sad. Big sad. Uh, Alexander recommending the Under Armour Havoc 2s. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. He said, on uh, on Thursday, we'll, we'll decide about the badges and whatnot. I was in the Is it yours to use? Oh, yeah, you're not wrong, Hammer. You're not wrong. I assume it's mine to use, yeah. I assume so. I mean, it's me, so... <laughs> it should be fine to use. But, yeah, that's not a bad idea, man. Not a bad idea at all. I do love that picture. I'm not going to lie. That is, uh, that is really cool. Uh, mine sold for 400k. Uh, where did that comment go? Oh, I can't, I can't even see anymore. Do I have a car back? Nah. Never getting it back, bro. Never getting it back. And I don't want it back. I don't want it back. It's been used in burglaries. It's been used in crimes. Um, it's, it's in a really, really bad shape. It has been not treated well, to say the least. Um, so yeah, I never, I, I've seen it today and yeah, said my goodbyes, man. I don't. I don't want to see the car again. I don't want to see the car again. It's just sad at this point. Lucas sold for 400k with nothing on it. That's really good. Uh, Jay was good. What country am I speculating today? Mali is 14 minutes to three and there's nothing on the database. I'm not thinking anything's coming through today. I'll be honest. I, I don't think anything's coming through. I think this is probably it for the uh, for the season. I think that's uh, probably it for the uh, for the season. Get the Opal KD? Nah, bro. Nah, I ain't looking to uh, have that. Do I have insurance? Yeah, I did. I did, but still haven't heard back. I rang up twice today. Once, and the guy was like, oh, he's on lunch. He's back at one. I was like, all right, cool. So I rang up at quarter past one. He was like, oh, he's not back yet. And I was like, right, okay, well, you told me he was back. I was like, right, just tell him to give me a ring back. It's now a quarter to three, and I still haven't heard anything. So I just love life, man. It's just great. It's just great. It's fantastic. It's so good. Love it. 10 out of 10. We'll do it again. Um, do I think we're getting any new agendas? I don't know, maybe. Maybe, but I don't know. They gave us 5k XP yesterday. So, there's, there's, I don't think many people need XP anymore. I think everybody's already sorted in terms of uh, XP. So, in terms of this Luca, there's not many up, is there? There's really not many up. This is 350, no extra badges. So mine's got one extra badge, which is Hall of Fame Clamps, and I'm probably going to put a Hall of Fame Pit Dodger onto Luca. Are we okay with that? Are we are we feeling like that's a good idea? Hall of Fame Pit Dodger on a guard is a very good thing to have. Uh, and we can also put Hall of Fame Ice and Veins on him. Uh, and I think he's already got everything else. Yeah, he's already got everything else. So we could put Pit Dodger and we could put Ice and Veins on him just to bump up the number a little bit. Um, so that would get him up to 28 Hall of Fame badges. So I'd have a 28 Hall of Fame badge Luca. One of them being Clamps. It's not bad. It's not bad. Magnus was good. Alright, so I think we'll put those badges on him in tonight's video. And then we'll probably let the Super Packs calm down a bit after today. And then maybe list them up for sale tomorrow. You know, Wednesday sort of midweek. People aren't panic selling too much for uh, Friday. It's not too close to Friday. So uh, I think I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. You think 500k minimum? Gee, I mean, I'd take 500k, man. A 50k profit off of that? I would take that. I would take that. And the, the only reason why, I know I don't need MT, but there's no point in losing MT. Like, I don't need to sell him to get MT, but I also don't want to be losing MT. And I feel like if I hold on to him for, for you know, too long, if season six rolls around and, you know, it is a point guard a point guard Giannis or a point guard Ben Simmons or something stupid like that, his price will come down because people are going to be like, well, I don't need to pay for this card where I can just grind for this card and get this card for free. So I just don't want to be caught. I don't want to be caught napping. I want to be ahead of the curve. And if I can sell him back, get some profit from him, I know how good he is. Um, but I would love to keep the card, but I just think there's so much MT invested into one card. It's not a... Uh, an economical way of having my team at a time being. 
Uh, Cameron Moore's good. Absolutely nothing on the database, man. I've only got 11 minutes to go, so... No spotlights coming out today, is about the looks of it, man. Absolutely nothing so far. First for next season. We'll see how it goes, bro. If they start adding in lock-ins, set lock-ins, then no. Um, but if there's no set lock-ins, we, we'll definitely stay on top of all of our daily agendas. We'll stay on top of all the win the weekends. We'll stay on top of any moments challenges that come out and all the limited time XP. And then, who knows, man? I mean, it's going to be a dark matter. And, you know, if we if you get the first dark matter, that's going to be a stream. That's going to be hype. That's going to be exciting. Uh, and is that for white glitch? Yep, good, great, grand. Um, yeah, that'll be really good. Uh, Jad was good. Got Jumble. Congrats, congrats. Uh, I'm going to pick Ball back up. I might do, Cody. To be fair, I can probably just run with no point guard. <laughs> with no point guard. I'll probably just run with the point guard that I've got in my club. Um, I'm not going to be running online for quite some time now. I know Season 6 is rolling around on Friday and, you know, that resets Unlimited and whatnot, but I'm not going to be playing Unlimited straight away. I'm not going to be playing Unlimited for a good couple of weeks. It's probably going to be a new domination, you know. we still got some spotlights to grind, so I've still got quite a bit of offline play to do, so I don't need an online point guard. Um, so I can just use Dwayne Wade, man. I could just use Donovan Mitchell if need. I can use Don O uh, or Juan or Juan. I could use my Don Ole there, like as a stop gap. He, he's he's not bad, is he? He's not bad. So we we've got more than enough untradeable cards that will just get me through um, Hall of Fame uh, difficulty games. Right, Luca with another three, and that's another dub. So that's three games down already. We've got nine minutes to go. Let's try and fly through another two games. Dante, hello, welcome to the stream. Try Opal Curry. Already tried him. Thoroughly enjoyed him. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed him. But yeah, already used him. Um, not really too fussed in using a card that I've already had. And I would say that Luca is better. Um, but anyway, Green Vault. Come on, 2K. Come on, 2K. That's not. That's a thousand empty. So I'm not mad at. Not mad at. Not getting packs. Doesn't look like it, my friend. Doesn't look like it. Eight minutes to go. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already ready to go ahead and just uh, shut down the database by the looks of it, man. Ready to uh, shut down the database out of here. Mm. Uh, Donald's still serviceable? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, he didn't come out that long ago. Oh, we're going up against Dark Matter, MJ. Good, great, grand. Uh, yeah, he didn't come up again, uh, come out too long ago. And uh, yeah, he's still still a very, very good card. Uh, am I going to sell Luca? I do think so, my friend. I do think that I'm going to be selling him. I think we're going to... Tonight's video, we're going to put Ice and Veins on him. And pick Dodger. We're going to bump him up from 26 to 28 Hall of Fame badges. One of them obviously being Clamps. He's selling as standard right now for like 350, 360, 370. So with those extra badges, we should be looking good, man. We should be uh, looking good. Are uh, you playing too much FIFA using a lot of FIFA terms? I haven't played FIFA since FIFA 18, my friend. It's been a minute since I played FIFA, bro. It's been a minute, but I guess it's just ingrained in me because I played it from FIFA 08. No, my first ever FIFA game was Euro 2008. FIFA Euro 2008, I believe. And then I had FIFA 08 as well. And I had 10 years worth of FIFA games. I think I had FIFA 19. I definitely didn't have FIFA 20. I definitely don't have FIFA 21. Um... Aiden was good, man. Welcome to the stream. How we doing? But yeah, I guess it's just ingrained in me, man. <laughs> FIFA 12, different level. Was that the uh, level? Uh, was that the level? Was that the year with the Brasilva cards, bro? They were, oh, they were days, bro. They were days when you could competitively use silver cards, and they were some of the best cards in the game and some of the most fun I've ever had gaming. And back then, it was literally just you play a single game, and that was it. I think there was a few tournaments, and that was it. Like there was. There's nothing in it, but my, I have such fond memories of it, man. Such fond memories of, of that time. And it was, when you think back, like, if we loaded it up now, we'd be like, well, where is, where's the division system? Where's the draft system? Where's the, where's the foot champs? Like, when you think back, they were so bare bones. They were so plain. There was such little to do, but they were the most fun games. Like, they just were. They, they were just the best. Uh, the experience was just 
brilliant. I don't know how. I don't know why. It's not like they were doing daily content updates. It was nothing like that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how gaming's changed. Like I don't think I'm ever gonna look back on 2K21 and be like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember <laughs> that game and having so much fun. Don't think I'm ever gonna look back on it like that. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Uh, World Cup mode on FIFA 14. Yeah, I remember that, bro. I remember that. Like I said, I definitely have uh, fond memories of uh, my FIFA days, but I, I hear about FIFA now, and it's it's not good, which sucks. Went to reach Division 1, for sure. And I do remember reaching it. I think FIFA 12, that was before they even had divisions, was it? Pretty sure that was before they even had divisions. Like, it was literally nothing, but we still played it, like, every day, and it was still brilliant. Still brilliant. And you get nostalgic for 2K15 uh, and 2K16. I can remember those. They were my first ones that I had. They were the first uh, 2Ks that I had. I picked up 2K15 right at the end of the year. And then 2K16 was the first one I played a lot. Like, completed domination in it. Had a half-decent team, I think. Um, and did my first videos on 2K16 as well. They were my first videos. Uh, Knockout Cup, I remember, bro. Uh, Mick's so old, he remembers when Pro Evo was called ISS Pro. Was that a thing? Oh my god, you're so old. <laughs> that was released in 1999. <laughs> I was four. Mad. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Uh, Venge, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing, bro? Thank you for coming through. Right, we're going to fly through this game, guys. We've got four minutes to go until, uh, until yes, yeah, super packs are going to be uh, hitting, hitting the store. It wouldn't surprise me if... They drop in all four of the previous cards that are needed for the exchanges. So all exchanges this season, there's been there's eight cards you need. So there's four exchanges. You need two in uh, two in both of them. So it wouldn't surprise me if eight of all the eight of those cards go back into packs today. So you do have more chances at completing the exchange if you so desire. Uh, Mick, I know you are right. <laughs> I know you are, and it's awesome that you come through. Uh, you're 15 and 99 jazz, bruh. I'll finish, I'll finish the uh, Kill the Moy podcast. Really good, really good. Like I said, I've met... Um, I was about to go and buy his real name. I don't think he has his real name out there. I've met Kill the in uh, real life. Uh, and we got along really well. So, yeah, I've spoken to him. I know how, how much of a nice chap he is. And, yeah, when you, when you find out his age, you're like, you are kidding me. Because <laughs> when we went out, it was... Obviously, when he wasn't 21, and this was in America... So he was like, yeah, I can't drink out here. And I'm like, bro, what? He was like, yeah, I'm 20. I'm like, bro, what? I think it was 19 at the time, actually. So I think it was uh, two years ago. Uh, Max, yeah, that's it. I didn't know if he had it out there. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to go. Oh, he calls himself Angus all the time in his vids. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah, Angus. I didn't know if he had it out there. I didn't want to be the one, like, dropping him in it. <laughs> but yeah, Angus is a, a really, really nice guy. A really, really nice guy. Uh, right, two minutes to go. Let me try and get out of this game real quick. If Lucas stops fouling, that'd be great. You weren't even born in 1999? Jeez. Jeez. Well, yeah, Killsmoy or Angus, he was born in 2000. A 2000, baby. Bruh. Bruh. Never 12 for gaming? I feel that, man. I'm going to be 90 years old playing 2K100. Still going at it. I don't want to be playing 2K for that long. Please tell me there's a better game by then. Please tell me somebody's pulled them out and there's something going on. <laughs> Please. Right, two more threes. Got two minutes to go. Uh, Lamello Legacy Series. I said, I've never really got into it. I've, I've I've watched his videos before, obviously. But I've never watched all of his uh, his series. Uh, double your followers. Hey, good stuff, bro. What do you mean, Siri? Go away. I didn't talk to you. I thought I was getting a call, but no. It was just stupid Siri. Uh, Patrick was giving to the stream. Will you guys get the fuck on with it? Why did you take all the shot clock to chuck, chuck a brick? <sighs> right, one more three. We've got one minute to go. One minute to go. 2K100, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Oh, it's awful. Now you feel old. I don't know where I feel. I guess I'm sort of in the middle. We've got some people out here who are older, some people out here who are a bit younger. Uh, Jim, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Right, last three for Luca. All right, cool, right. So let's see what 2K are going to give us today. I think it's just going to be 
season five super packs, I guess. There's absolutely nothing on the database, so I'm going to shut that down now. Nothing's going to come through. Josh has just pulled himself a Galaxy of Don all out of the vault. So, it is now three o'clock. Can we get... No, we can't. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Erico is trying to log in, but that's fun. That's fun. Right, pack market. What are we saying? Pack market. What are we saying? And there we go. Season five, Age of Heroes Super Packs. As expected. Oh, Luke is going to be in here, isn't he? Rip. Yeah, Luke is in here. F. But yeah, there we go. Age of Heroes Super Packs. And it does have the cards. Yeah, it does. It, it has the cards you need for the exchange in here as well, obviously. So, yeah, all of these are out here. <sighs> There's not really much to say. Is there? There's Super Packs. 19% chance of a 92 or higher rated card. 19%. So, technically, it should be 1 in 5 that you get a diamond or higher. But obviously, if you get a diamond, there could be a, a stinker. But as usual, VC only. Big stinker. Right, any new XP down here? I don't think so. I don't I don't think so. I'll back out and come back in. But I really don't think there's any new XP there. Like I said, I didn't, didn't expect any. Diamond City. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Open one? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Uh, yeah, no, there's definitely nothing here. Definitely nothing here. Yeah, so no new XP. The only thing new today is a, a good old batch of super packs. What fun. What fun. Anything in TTO? Did they bring all the cards back? They did not bring all the cards back, man. They, did, they didn't bring them all back. I thought they might have done. Uh, but no. But no. Uh, cinema's good. Welcome to the stream. How we doing? So this entire season, four spotlights is where it's going to end. Four. That's that's pretty low, man. That that's that's pretty low. So if you do want to get these cards now, and you didn't get the cards originally, not that one, but these cards originally, the only way you can get them is uh, in super packs. I did think they'd add all eight cards back to Triple Online, but maybe that'd be a bit too much. Um, but yeah, they haven't done that. Uh, Eastern, hello, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Maybe I should have saw my Luca yesterday in anticipation of super packs today. Oh no. Whatever happens, our one's got Hall of Fame clamps, and we're good. Eastern, hello. We didn't even get Canada. We didn't even get Canada, bro. They only managed to get through four countries. Well, technically five with uh, Australia and New Zealand. But that's it. France, Spain, Germany, Australia, and New Zealand. That was it. They were like, oh, we've travelled the globe now, boys. There's no no coming back from that. So, yeah, I don't know. Market's going to go down a bit. Maybe a little bit, but I don't think too much. How many Dark Matters are in these? So you got both Zions, both MJs, and Derek Ro uh, and Kevin Garnett. So where's Derek Rosen? Uh, where's Derek Rosen? Wait, where is Derek Rosen? He's over here. That's not him. Why is Derek Rose not in these super packs? Yeah, somebody else has realised it. He definitely came out in season five. Um, he literally came out like a week or so ago, and two K have just forgotten about him. I don't understand that. Retro, yeah. Uh, sound that. I mean, every every other card is in here. So, Juan Carlos Navarro, he should come down in price. And maybe we will we'll pick him up. Dirk's back in these. Obviously, we sold him. Uh, Paul George. Is PG-13 in here? Larry Bird's in here. He is gonna, he's already cheap. He's going to be even cheaper. PG-13 is in here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Is Bird in here? Yeah, Larry B is, uh, is in here. So, we sold two cards, which are now in Super Packs. So, that's fine. But it makes no sense, yeah. Yeah, uh, basically, I think we can sum up most of 2K by saying that doesn't make sense. If one is it, why not D-Rose? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Right, we need Bulls players. We need six Bulls players. So, this is going to be on Hall of Fame difficulty. So, I want to make sure we're taking a good team. I don't want to be struggling out here. I want to make sure we have a nice, easy, clean Calm game. Actually, this is not all Hall of Fame. This one is a uh, this one's superstar, and the one after this is going to be Hall of Fame. Uh, Bird got steady shooting. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't really want to buy that card. Like Larry Bird's in previous years, sure he's been nice, but this year, man, not so much. Not so much. 
It's on Superstar? Yeah, so it should be uh should be winnable. Just gotta win the game, don't have to do anything. Oh let's do it. Let's roll, let's roll. So <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna be some people uh calling these packs juiced and whatnot. But uh at the end of the day, VC only super packs. Not the way to go. All they have to do is just allow us to buy them with MT as well. And there's no issues, right? If people are going to give money to this game, they're going to do it regardless. If they have the option of VC or MT, they're still going to click that VC button. If you're buying VC, chances are you need MT, so you're not going to be waiting MT on packs. Just allow us people that like to offer a f like, like to open a few here and there. Just give us a chance. Why, why do they have to be locked behind a paywall, man? Why not just allow us to open a few? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Can we shoot on superstar difficulty? <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, no weekly challenge today? Nice. It's, it's Tuesday, bro. They usually come out on, uh, well, the spotlight challenge, yeah. No, no, none of those. The weekly challenge comes out on Friday, but yeah, today's usually the spotlight challenge. But no, sadly not. Kobe. Oh, Kobe on superstar. Lovely stuff. No locking for the spotlights? No locking for the spotlights. Only four spotlights this season, and they were one game each. Uh, yeah, in general, the, the spotlights have been um, completely irrelevant. Let's be real. The spotlights have been a huge waste of time this season. One game per set. Oh, there's no point. I mean, I guess if they gave us a full set of spotlights, it probably would have been too much, given the fact that, uh, you know, we got the actual spotlight sims with Wesley Sell, Branroy, and, uh, and John Ball. It would have been a bit too much if we have full games to play or a full set of spotlights to play alongside all of that, so... Yeah, we get another Hall of Fame badge Friday. We do indeed. We do indeed. There will be another signature challenge, and we'll get another Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy Apple, another Hall of Fame badge, which is good. Full work glitch. Let's go. I love this game. Uh, yeah, another one, which is awesome. I'm excited. We've got Hall of Fame catch and shoot. We're going to be putting Hall of Fame pick dodger and ice and veins into Luca. And like I said, we'll probably be selling him tomorrow. I don't think his price is going to be affected too much with the super packs that came out today. I don't think they're going to change it too much. He should still sell for around a five or 400, well, three, 300 to 400k mark. He should still sell for around that. So that shouldn't really change things. And then uh, Thursday we'll get Galaxy for Western sold. And that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Uh, how are we going about the Hall of Fame Challenge games? I mean, after this game, we're going to get into the Hall of Fame one. So you can see uh, exactly how I play it. But uh, just... No threes, basically. Just just only twos, because any actual threes you take on Hall of Fame difficulty. Unless my Luca gets sharp takeover, then I'll start shooting. But other than that, it's uh, GG. Uh, save Ice and Veins for a big, maybe Giannis. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, yeah, I, I do kind of want to save my badges for Giannis. And I know Giannis is already going to come with Hall of Fame Pick Dodger, because his previous card has already got Hall of Fame Pick Dodger. So let me just double check that's true, actually. So I know that's a safe badge. Yeah, yeah, we can. I, I'm, I'm happy to do that actually. Uh, no, he doesn't actually. He only had it on uh, on gold. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy to save as many Hall of Fame badges as is physically possible for a Giannis. I want to. I want to turn that card, you know, from whatever it's at, add four or five Hall of Fame badges to it, including range extender, and hopefully we can just have the biggest sale of the year for us. Hopefully, we can do that. So, Ice and Veins is definitely going to be going on him. Range Extender, definitely. Catch and Shoot, most likely. And then, uh, yeah, Pick Dodger. I think I think Luca's going to be a better bet for Pick Dodger. I'll be honest. I think Luca's going to be better. No content, Shane. No content, my friend. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. And this time last year, 60 Hall of Fame badge, Dwayne Wade was available. Was he really? Jesus Christ. We had a 60 Hall of Fame badge. God, oh, Jesus. That's incredible. Uh, how was good? Anything new? Nothing new, bro. No new XP. New super packs. That's about it, man. Ethan as well. Hello. How much do you think Giannis will be? If he's a dark matter, we're probably going to have to shell out, I don't know, seven, six, seven, eight hundred K to actually buy the card in the first place, depending on what, what type of range he has. Comes to no range. Maybe 600k if you already come to gold range, probably like 800k, something stupid like that, because range extends will inevitably go up in price quite a lot. 
And then if we put Hall of Fame range on him and we make him nice and nice and pretty and whatnot, he, he should be selling for 1.5 mil. Uh, I, I think that's a pretty sensible guess. A sensible guess. I, I think a, gal a Dark Matter Giannis with Hall of Fame range, you you're looking at one of the best cards that's going to be out until the end of the in end of the game, end of the year. So one and a half mil, I would take that, man. Obviously, you've got to take away 150k in tax because 2k. Um, so that that obviously hurts a lot. So you're going to get yourself 1.35 million MT uh, back, which is still quite a lot. Obviously, you take away the 800k that you've probably paid for him. You're still going to get yourself a 500k profit from adding range, and I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. That, that actually does us quite well. Uh, Bobby, because I've never used no meter, and I don't want to. Uh, what's the point in tax? I see why they do it to stop like market inflation and whatnot. But like FIFA do it with a 5% tax. 5% is fine. 10% is just absurd. Oh, nice defense. Yeah, 10% is, is just absurd, man. I don't like it. Kobe. Oh, unlucky. Ah, oh, not lucky. Is Magic a big upgrade from Lonzo? Nah. Nah. I'd say just keep Lonzo. If you've got the two of them, I would say just keep Lonzo. Uh, do you think we'll get a free DeMar next season? I think so. It's been a long time since we've had a uh, DeMar DeRozan card. I think his best card... Full white glitch again? Yep, good, great, grand. The best card we've got for DeRozan so far is his diamond card, which came out so long ago. So, yeah, he's definitely uh, got to be getting a new card soon. Definitely. Do I still play FIFA? No, I haven't played FIFA in years, man. I do occasionally watch videos, and I'm like, oh, that looks cool, that looks fun. Like, they've got so many different... Types of cards and SBCs and challenges, and you've got to play to get this card, you've got to do challenges to get this card, you get tokens, and you can cash them in and get these cards, you can choose which cards to get. But then I hear people are talking about the gameplay, I'm like, I'm just going to want to collect cards and never actually play the game. So, yeah, I don't want to be doing that. I already kind of do that with 2K, I think all of us kind of do that with 2K, where we, we play this game and we don't actually want to play the game. Uh, we collect cards to make a team, but then we don't actually want to take the team into anything. And I don't want to have that again. I don't, I don't want to have that again. Uh, as exotic, yes. Yeah, so you lied or go uh, go away. Goodbye. Don't come back. Thank you. Bye. I think it's Dark, Dark Matter next season, level 40. A card before that will be an Opal? Yeah, it should be, man. It should be. No country? No country, Theodore. Sucks, bro. Uh, but yeah, no, it definitely should be a... Dark Matter card, level 40. There's no way Dark Matter is not level 40. And that does mean that level 33 should be a Galaxy Opal card. It should be an Opal at level 33. It should be a pink diamond at level 28. And then obviously down from there. So we should be getting some really, really nice reward cards next season. Let's put it like that. We should be getting, you know, just from playing the seasons or just from playing the levels. Should get a lot. We should get a lot. They really disrespect Canada like that. They have indeed, bro. They have indeed. Feels like that sometimes. It does, doesn't it? Like, we create these awesome teams and make them look good. And then you play the game and you're like, ah. Ah. <laughs> JW's getting D-Rob today. Congrats, my friend. Congrats. It's a hell of a grind, man. So, always going to be uh, impressed whenever he gets level 40. Is there anybody who's making a, a mad late push to get D-Rob if you haven't got him? And uh, do let me know how much XP you've got left. You've still got a few days, and you could so comfortably make, like, at this point, 20k a day is probably attainable in not too long, and probably, like, four hours play, you could probably get, oh, no, even less than that, probably in about three hours play, you could get yourself about 20,000 XP. It really is that simple. Just make sure you put as many things together as is possible. Make sure every game you go into, and if you just go into rookie games, then, oh my god, it'd be so easy. Make sure you've got somebody in the team doing steals, somebody for assist, somebody for points, somebody for rebounds, somebody for blocks. Minutes as well. Minutes can be another one. Um, and I think that you've pretty much covered everything there. I don't think there's anything else that you can have in a game doing it in the same time. I think that's, I think that's everything. Uh, but yeah, make sure you have all of those in, in every game, and, and you could be ticking off so much. So much. Do two two rookie domination games at uh, an hour. So over what three hours you can get through six rookie domination games. Yeah, yeah you can do you can do a lot. And in a, in a rookie domination game, you can probably net 
about 150 points, depending on how crazy you go, you could probably be getting 150 points, which of course in turn is, depending if you're doing twos or threes, but it's either 50 assists or 75 assists, which is quite a lot, obviously. So yeah, a lot to do. It would be an awesome idea, and I have actually thought about this. The day before Season 6 comes around, I'm not going to do it this season because I don't have an account to use, but just starting from absolute, no, starting from zero and then just going until we get level 40 and seeing exactly how long it takes to go from level zero to level 40 on the final day of the season. Because I reckon it would be possible and I don't think it would take too long, I'll be honest. I said I reckon three hours, 20k-ish. So you're looking at eight of those, so eight times three is eight. 8 times 3 is 24, so yeah, oh god, that is quite a long time, isn't it? That is quite a long time, not going to lie. <laughs> but maybe it can be done even quicker, but just to show people that, like, you could literally be level 0 on the last day of the season and still get a D-Rob. I think it's possible, I think it's possible. Uh, Cameron, we're going to get through this game, we are going to get through the final game, which is on Hall of Fame difficulty, so we are going to have to adjust the old playstyle just a little bit. Uh, you'd be able to stack so easy. Oh, you'd be able to stack so easy. Super packs out? Yeah, they are. Is Navarro the super packs? Yes. So we're going to get through this game, the Hall of Fame game, and that is going to get us the Pink Diamond Sydney Wicks. And then tonight, over on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. Oh, Kobe. Uh, we're going to be doing the final four games for Dave DeBusschere. So we're going to have seven out of eight cards done. Go on, Kobe. Unlucky, Kobe. We're going to have seven of eight cards done for West of Seldon. We'll be getting the final one added into the team tomorrow. So, uh, feels good. We might, we're making progress. And uh, I'm definitely happy about that. Level 30-ish to 40 and 48, I think. No, what should have slowed him down for sure? Oh, yeah, absolutely, Chris. That would definitely, would have, uh, definitely would have slowed him down quite a lot. But, if you, yeah, if you can buy cards, and it's probably show how you can do it on a budget as well. Like, you don't need to spend a crazy amount uh, on these cards. A lot of them, to be fair... You know, there's a lot of XP this season on the hero cards, which you obviously have to grind for, so I don't know. But even if you go, if you start now and you haven't done anything, if you just put one contract on somebody, it does the first challenge of every weekly challenge because all of the weeklies are the same. It's just apply a badge, apply a contract, play a game of trouble the offline, play a game of trouble online. You do those four things once and it does all challenges for four weeks worth of challenges or five weeks worth of challenges so that's quite a lot of xp just doing something that takes like five minutes which is mad uh hands what's good man welcome to the stream how are we doing bro welcome 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 uh who was i gonna i was gonna read a comment out and i've lost it i've lost it you've got hall of fame range from Lim unlimited congrats congrats and beast yeah that's just people bro in it it's it's sad but that is uh, regrettably just people. Is a triple the offline reward better than West on sale? I don't think so, Nick. I don't think so. I don't have him, so I don't know exactly, but I really don't think so. Uh, Nick was good. Did we get new packs today? We did. Sadly, though, Age of Heroes super packs. Big sad. I'd uh, love to see you do it, man. Such an inspiration. I appreciate that, Chris. Thank you very much, bro. I don't know. Maybe by next season, we'll have a second account going. I don't know. Wait until five minutes before I got... No, I meant the game of Triple Threat Offline, bruh. I meant the Triple Threat Offline game. <laughs> if I was doing that, then we would not be getting in within the within one day. Uh, VC only? VC only, of course, my friend. Of course. Exotic? Yeah, you literally were, be, were put in there because you, you spam. How can you not mean to spam? You actively have to copy and paste the message and then just keep on re-putting it in. That doesn't happen by accident. <laughs> it really doesn't, bro. Oh my days. Uh, Come, it's taller, better wingspan, better defenders, better jumper. Interesting. But West has a better offensive stats and badges. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get the frog, ball out. But I don't know. For me, I don't want to be waiting on something that may never come through. I'd much rather just get the card that I know I can grind for and actually get. That's where I'm at. Ugh. I just missed it from there. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. All right. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, you love West is so good, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. And Aish, I do agree. I do agree. 4.8k 4. 4. away from D-Rob. You hype? 
Go get it, Jonas, man. Go get it, bruh. The spotlight's disappearing after this season. Spotlight Sims, no. But the weekly spotlight games for the country players, so TLC, Aaron Baines, ah, who are the others? Uh, TLC, Aaron Baines, ah, there's somebody else. Oh, who are the other cards? I can't remember, but they are going to disappear. But the Spotlight Sims will be there for the entirety of the year. Spotlight Sims aren't going anywhere, but the weekly spotlights will be going away. Uh, Daniel Tice. Yeah, yeah, Daniel Tice. And who was the other one? Jose Calderon. That's it. I knew there was a point guard in there. I knew there was a point guard. So yeah, those four will be going away. Jose Calderon, Daniel Tice, uh, Aaron Baines, and TLC. Those cards will disappear. So if you do want to get your hands on those cards... You've only got until this Friday to get them. That's it. Um, but yeah, the actual Spotlight Sims, the ones that we're playing right now, they're not going anywhere. Don't worry about that. If 2K expected us to get these done within a season, boy, I do this my job and I haven't even done half of it. I haven't even done half of it, which is rough. Good buzz, was good. Welcome to the stream, bro. How are we doing? How are we doing? And we get Canada. We didn't get anything, my friend. We got nothing. Well, we got season five VC only super packs. So basically, we got nothing. Um, and I don't think anybody's even talking about it on Twitter. I don't think anybody even cares. No, it's just sad when they do this, man. It, it really is just sad. Uh, Lathal's good. Welcome, welcome. Like I said, all they need to do, all they need to do, is just make them MT as well. Just make them MT as well. It would surely benefit them because more people would be watching because more people would be opening up packs. Like, I'd open up some packs and more people would stick around to watch that. I, it, yeah, but I guess they're not making as much money, so. I don't know. Uh, should I sell Magic and get Luca? I would do, bro. I would do. He's definitely an upgrade. Definitely, definitely an upgrade. I would even say Lonzo is better than Magic Johnson at this point. I would say uh, Lonzo is better. Kobe? Oh, God. Unlucky, Kobe. And unlucky. Uh, no, no, just stack stuff and you'll be fine. Phil Jackson, Ruby Manute Bowl has a 84-3 on Ruby Manute Bowl, bro. Michael was good. Welcome to the stream. How we doing? We finally got Cedric Maxwell. Wow. Fair play. Fair play. On the final few days of the season going 12-0. That's big plays, man. That is not something I'm going to be doing. You guys know we made one run at 12-0. It didn't work. That's it. You know, it's, it's a GG. I'm not fussed about it, though, I'll be honest. Oh, go on, Kobe. Kobe! Oh, and he's cold as well. Oh, no, he's not. He's just really tired. He's just really, really tired. Uh, Shahar, that's awesome stuff, man. Well done. They have made XP very, very easy to get this season. Like, very easy to get this season. Um, so, yeah, you, you can fly up through the levels. Yeah, good work, man. Good work. Keep it up. Keep it up. And here are how cards are going to drop in price. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, but I don't know. How good is Luca? Luca is brilliant. Luca is absolutely fantastic. So the only reason I'm thinking about selling him, and to be fair, with these super packs out now, he's in these super packs. Both his Quantum and his Age of Heroes card are in these super packs. So do I want to? Do I want to sell him when he's out there so much more now? I don't know, bro. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Don't foul, don't foul, don't foul. Okay, cool. I think Clay and Russell will be some good investments. I don't think so, bro. I don't think so. Investing in this, this year's game is just not a good idea. With the sheer volume of super packs they drop, it's just mad, bro. I've never known a year to have a super pack drop every week. That is mental. Every week you have packs that are locked behind a paywall. That's absurd, man. I swear, last year it was very, very rare. Was it not? I don't, I don't know. I'm sure it was pretty rare. And then before this season, again, pretty rare. I think it was maybe like once a season. To go from once a season to every week. Ugh. Ugh. Tough. Kyle was good. Best one, two, and three in a game. Uh, I mean, the best ones that I've used. Luca. Have I used somebody better at the one? I don't think so. I don't think I have. So I'm going to say Luca. Uh, best two, who I use. I haven't obviously used MJ Dark Matter card, so I can't comment on that. 
It's probably got to be Kawhi. Probably got to be Kawhi. Uh, and the best three I've used, that Galaxy over Paul George was uh, on another level, man. Galaxy over Paul George was so damn good. But again, there's, there's probably out there. Again, I haven't used the Dark Matter Zion. So I know there's better cards out there, but for me personally, they're the three that I've used this season that, that stick out. Uh, and that uh, I really don't want to be leaving the team anytime soon. If Kawhi didn't have Hofsteady, oh, we'd be, we'd be in dreamland. He does, but I oh, don't know, bro. I oh, don't know. Uh, Opa Giannis gets a 95-3 and sharp takeover. He does, bro. He does. Oh, actually, as well, um, they brought back Super Packs this weekend, didn't they? They said by popular demand, they brought them back, like... How many super packs can they do? It's getting absurd. They've just tweeted out about them now. Let's see what their tweet says real quick. Age of Heroes super packs are live. You've got 72 hours to pick up all the cards. Woo. Oh, wait. Derek Rose is in the packs. <laughs> He's not even advertised as one of the players in it, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God. So you can pull... Galaxy Opal, Derek Rose, and uh, not Galaxy Opal. You can pull Dark Matter, Derek Rose in these packs. You can pull Galaxy Opal, Derek Rose in these packs, even though it doesn't say that you can. I mean, the only good thing is it's the last super packs of the season. Like, <laughs> at least I can't give us any more super packs in season five. Let's wait until season six, I guess, and we'll probably get even more. Did we get super packs today? We did. And we had them on what? We had them on Saturday as well. When did they put out that tweet? Let me have a look. When did they put out that tweet? Uh, yeah, March the 20th. So three days ago, they had Hero Super Packs returned by popular demand. Absolute BS. Literally nobody ever asked for them to come back. Uh, and they were the same ones that came out Tuesday. So we had Super Packs last Tuesday. Super Packs Saturday, and now Super Packs again. That means in the space of seven days, we have had three sets of Super Packs. I think that's probably a new record for them, to be fair. I think that's probably a new record. Not exactly a good one. Three Super Pack releases over the span. Seven days. Oh, I don't even know what I can say. I'm just going to give it the little nerd face. Let's do that. Not good. Uh, Low Funk was good. One of the stream. Uh, just got Kermit. Congrats, man. That's sick. I'll oh, quickly chuck up a shot. Congrats, congrats. Uh, yeah, strategy's just uh, said it. Steady shooter decreases your chance of hitting an open shot. Uh, Patrick, see you on Twitch, my friend. Thank you very much for coming through today, and thank you for joining the channel as well. I do very, very much appreciate that. So you got a Ruby Gang out here, and you got the uh, a Diamond. I don't know what you are on Twitch. Um, and Chris, yes, we'll be out on Twitch tonight, my friend. We'll be back at it. So let me put the uh, link in the chat for you, boys. So we're going to do the Hall of Fame game after this. We're going to get ourselves the Pink Diamond, Sydney Wicks, and then... Uh, I think we might list up Luca tonight. I think we might do that in tonight's video. And nobody opening packs, surprise the same? Yeah, ho hopefully. Hopefully. Like, like I said, three and seven days. Have they not... Have they not minced everybody for how much? Like, <laughs> come on. Uh, Hammer, he was getting a flight this morning, wasn't he? Was he getting a flight this morning? I don't know. I did check his... Uh, I saw on his Discord. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, yeah, Brussels to DC and then customs. Oh, God, that sounds like a lot of flying. That is not a, a quick flight either. Germany to Washington or whatever. That's a long old flight. So I imagine he is still up in the air somewhere. I imagine he's still up there somewhere. Um, benefit is steady shooter, same as Dead I know. Just negative is you miss more open shots. Yeah, the benefit is the same. You hit more contested shots. But the negative is you miss open shots which is not ideal which is not ideal um so we'll get a dime from these packs sticker don't want to get those exchange players either true that true that yeah you've got a 20 percent chance of getting a diamond or higher so if you are actually 
opening those packs in the hopes of getting the cards needed for the exchange, you've actually got, only got an 80% chance. I say only, but you know what 2K like with their chances and whatnot. you only got an 80% chance of actually getting them. Which is mad. Uh, Jake, after this one, we have got 10. After this one, 10 to go. Steady is great when you pack it, though. Steady is great on next gen. Next gen, it changes to blinders. Current gen, it's not good. But next gen, it doesn't actually decrease your open shots. It just boosts your contested shots. And obviously, that's great. Everybody wants that to happen. So, yeah. All right, we'll have to hopefully get Steady Shooter one day. <laughs> Alex, I agree, bro. I agree. If we get Steady Shooter from a, a pack this Friday when we get a Hall of Fame badge pack, that'd be great. <sighs> I'm sure we'll get another Ice in Veins, though. I'm um, just waiting for uh, our third Ice in Veins of the year to come through. Uh, Jay Wiz, catch you later, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for coming through. Yes, yeah, first YouTube stream in a little while. First YouTube stream since, uh, since last Friday. But it feels like it's been a while, man. Feels like it's been a, a long, long time. So we're going to do this. We're going to do the last game on Hall of Fame difficulty. And then I still haven't heard back from the insurance. So I'm going to have to ring them for the third time today. Um, and just try and get the thing sorted. But I am just so worn down about everything, man. Uh, Strive just added in super packs and that's it. Just added in super packs. It's not worth uh, just adding bronze steady. It only decreases open shots by 1%. Maybe. 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 I don't know the exact percentages. I know 2K Lab have put up the percentages, but I don't know them specifically myself. Uh, Azzy, hello. No new countries cards? No new countries cards, man. I, I don't know why. I really, really don't know why. It's it's pretty poor, man. It's pretty poor. Yeah, everybody's just really sad on Twitter. Everybody's just really sad about this content drop, man. It's It's just poor, isn't it? Uh, Yumar, hello, welcome to the stream. All right, completed. So, final game. Final game for Sydney. It's going up against Galaxy Opal Kareem. I've got to win the game and grab at least 15 team rebounds using 11 Thunder players. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. I can't use, um, I can't use Supersonics players, but that should be okay. So, in terms of Thunder players, I guess Kenrick Williams is going to come into the starting lineup, and I guess... Oh, God. Shea Gill just had his arms going to come in as well. God, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that has been a big bad. That it has, man. That it has. Oh, God. We really don't have many 10th. We really don't have good Thunder players. I'm just putting a duplicate out of Horford. That's really stupid. That's really stupid. You can use Sonics. I don't... Some people say you can. Some people say you can't. So, I don't really want to risk it. So... I mean, I guess I can just put them in here and see if it allows me to go into the game, can't I? I'll put them there and I'll see. If it lets me in, it lets me in, then we're good. But if it doesn't, then uh, obviously we're not good. Obviously, we're not good. So I can have, what, three cards that aren't. So I guess Luca, Moses Malone, and D-Rob, I guess that does make sense. And we need 15 team rebounds. So having my two big rebounders out there definitely is a smart boy thing to do. Right, so if it allows me to go in... We've got one Sonics player. And let's see. So we've got... We should have 10 Thunder players there, technically. And then we've got Moses Malone, Luca, and D-Rob as our three non. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, Noah. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, hang on, Noah. Goodbye. See you later. 2K, come on. What you doing? Can't you sleep? You can use other. Can't use Sonics. Apparently, I can't do anything right now because this is broken, so... That's cool. What the fuck does that even... What the fuck does that even mean? An error saving my lineup to the server? <laughs> God's sake, man. Oh, my God. Nah, it doesn't let you use Ronald Murray. Big sad. Big sad. Didn't let me use him, boys. We change him out for Mike Muscala, put a moose in, and it lets us in. So, no, you cannot use Thunder players. That sucks. Can't use him. Put one Opal out of 25 packs. You did 25 super packs. 
Oh no, oh no, no, oh no, no. Why would you do this, bro? Why would you do this, man? All right, it is time. Hall of Fame difficulty game. Hall of Fame difficulty game. Raymond right, was good. Welcome to this stream. We've got to get 15 team rebounds. So not just one card. And obviously we've got D-Rob and we've got Moses Malone as our big men. So we should be okay. We should be okay. Certain Sonic players work. Oh, it's so dumb, isn't it? So dumb. You'd think, you know, just all Sonic players would work, but... I guess that would be a, I guess that would make too much sense, wouldn't it? I guess that would make too much sense. First possession, easy a bucket. So I do need to actually concentrate on this one. We haven't actually lost a Hall of Fame difficulty game yet. We've actually done really, really damn well so far. Obviously, things could change. That's not very good. Uh, big bad on offense. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why have you switched? There you go. Thank you. Why have you switched again? Please switch back. Thank you. Thank you. That took long enough. <laughs> All right. 15 team rebounds. Let's get it. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Use Sean Kemp. Okay. So Sean Kemp works, does he? Okay. Okay. Uh, Almighty, after this game, we will be nine away. Luca, I know it's Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, I shouldn't shoot. There's one rebound, though. Let's get it. Oh, no. Kerrick Williams, you do not do that. I know it's Hall of Fame. Oh, God. I shouldn't shoot that. I'm addicted to shooting threes of Luca, man. I feel like I can green with him so much on normal games. And then as soon as I go into Hall of Fame, it's just like, nah, you ain't gone green, bro. You ain't gone green, bro. Dale Ellis works. All right, Dale Ellis is a decent card. Maybe it is worth actually buying those cards to get some uh, decent players out here. All right, triangle offense is going to be our friend. And when I said triangle offense, I ain't talking about no Phil Jackson vibes. Green from Luca, that's more like it. I mean, just holding down triangle and turboing straight to the rim. Uh, use all Sonics and Thunders except for Ronald Murray. For some reason, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's the only card that I tried to get in here. It's the only card I had that I wanted to get in here. And uh, yeah, he, he don't work, bro. He don't work. Jesus Christ, how many screens do you want? Get wrecked. All right, that's two boards. And that is Kenrick Williams getting swatted. All right, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Sonic's players that have agendas can be used. I don't know how they work out, but they're just dumb, aren't they? They really, really are just dumb. Luca with another green. This is Hall of Fame, boys. I guess I might just start snatch back in threes even though it's on Hall of Fame. If we can do it, I'm going to do it. I think I'm really starting to get this release down. I think I'm really starting to get Luca's release down. In before I miss my next 10 shots, but... Three for three on green lights on Hall of Fame. I am mad at that, bro. I am mad at that, man. Not at all. Uh, cool screen. Uh, they get bored. Yeah, the, the board should just come naturally. Hopefully. The AI on Hall of Fame do usually miss quite a few more shots than normal. Carrick Williams? Yeah, that, that, was a bit, that was a bit steep. That was a bit of a, pu that was a, bit of a push, wasn't it? Shaggy was Alexander for three? I mean, if I just keep chucking up threes, eventually some of them are going to hit. Uh, Almighty, I've already answered that, man. He clearly ain't listening. Zeke has a fix. It. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of things they haven't fixed in this game. right? It's, yeah, so we've got four rebounds already, so we're going to be fine, man. Screw it. Luca? We've got five rebounds already. we going to be fine. Come I'm double teaming. Can you leave me alone? Can Rick? Oh, my God. You can get doubled? <laughs> yep. Can Rick? Oh my god! Moses and one fun! Jeez! <laughs> Jeez! I miss way more on Hall of Fame than Pro. Honestly, they do. Hall of Fame just is easier than Pro difficulty. I'm gonna stick by that. I'm gonna stick by that. Hall of Fame is, is easier than, than Pro. You can't shoot half as well as you can, obviously, but. Uh, Alex? I oh, don't know, I guess so. I guess so. Six offensive, one defensive rebound? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, God. I'm seeing DBG's talking about limited codes coming back. I, I hate limited codes. Please don't bring that back 2K. <laughs> what are you guys' thoughts on limited time locker code or limited quantity locker codes? Would you guys be happy to see those back? Because I know I wouldn't. Ah, no, I would not want to see those back literally ever. They were, they were so 
frustrating. You waste so much time of your life just waiting for a tweet to come out. They never tell you exactly when it's going to be. And, oh, no, they're, they're, they're so bad, man. And they're limited to, like, what, 10 people or some shit. Like, I really hope they never come back. I hope, I hope they've uh, moved on from those. You know, it's been a couple of years now since we've seen them, which is good. Yuck, hell no, exactly. I don't know why they're talking about it. The original tweet came from Big C Richie. So, yeah, I don't know. He's not, like, signed to 2K or anything like that. So, thankfully, they're not going to be uh, looking at that and thinking, hopefully, well, hopefully they don't look at that and think it's a good idea. Because I definitely don't think it is, man. I definitely don't think it's uh, good. Limited quality locker coach reason I quit 2K for four years. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Even if you're, like, right on it, you can still not get it. You can you can put in a code within 15 seconds and still not get it. You could be so damn quick and still not get it. It, it, it was just an unfair system. It was just a shit system. Um, and I can't believe people want it back. I genuinely cannot believe people want it back. We've got 10 boards in the first quarter. This is Hall of Fame. This is so much easier than Pro. What is going on, man? This is so much easier than Pro Difficulty. This is mad. I just realised my camera doesn't look right. Why do I look so high? Why does it look like it's going down on me so much? Oh, I don't know. I'm struggling. Like I said, my monitor messed up yesterday, so everything's been moved around a little bit. Why is there a black bit at the bottom of the screen as well? Do I need to move that down a little bit? Is that better? I think that's better. Uh, James, what's good? Welcome back. Welcome back. But yeah, when my monitor broke yesterday, the camera had to be moved and whatnot. So all my angles are completely off, which is not ideal. Oh, I really hope they don't bring that back. I really, really hope they don't bring that back, bro. <laughs> Can't believe people think that's a good idea. Yeah, I agree with that comment right there. So fastest thing at all limited, like everyone gets a code, but only some get the drop. Hated locker codes because they provided no timetable for when and forced people to sit around for hope at a four second max entry code. And that's exactly what I've just said. You have to sit around for hours, not knowing when it's going to come through. Even if you're there within like five seconds, you might still not even get the card. It might say limit, uh, like it's reached quantity. So yeah, awful idea. Please don't bring it back. Uh, Joshua, what's good? Welcome to the street. I can't believe he even thinks that's a good idea to come back. Ew. Ew. Big ew, man. Big ew. Like, they can just bring hype by doing normal locker codes. They don't have to be limited ones. They can just bring hype by saying, oh, yeah, we're going to do a locker code for, you know, pink. Well, it was a pink diamond. Kevin loved the one that springs to mind because he was the one that I got. I know they've done locker codes for, like, a Kobe and a Shaq before and whatnot. They can do that. Just don't make it limited. Or just say, like, it's active for 10 minutes or an hour, something like that. Or it's got a quantity. No, I don't want quantity ones, man. I don't want quantity ones. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't like it in general. I just don't like it, man. I just I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Uh, back by popular demand, honestly. That's probably what they're going to say, isn't it? Oh, limited... Uh, Quantity locker codes are back by popular demand. It's like, no, no. Uh, how do you get your Hall of Fame badge from Limited? Just click on Limited section, my friend. Click on the Limited section, and it will pop straight up on your screen. Uh, yeah, crap, that's true, man. There was a Kobe locker code last year, and that, uh, that never materialized. Nothing ever came from that. That is still a, a locker code that, for all intents and purposes, was uh, programmed into this game, and then they just forgot about. It's programmed into the game. People put it in. It worked. It was an active locker code. But it had a card that uh, never got released. Which is very, very strange. But uh, I guess just another another 2K type thing, bro. Another 2K type thing. Right, so whites just do not hit on Hall of Fame. I can tell you guys that. We've hit one white this entire game. So if it ain't green, it ain't going in. If it ain't green, it's a GG. It is a GG. Exotic, don't worry, bro. I got you. And you ain't in the timeout. You is now banned. So see you later. Goodbye, and do not come back this time. Um, yeah, no, you can't get a Hall of Fame badge if you took PAL. Wait, you took PAL? Oh, you got PAL Gasol. Yeah, yeah, no. If you got PAL Gasol, you can't get the Hall of Fame badge as well, man. You can't get the Hall of Fame badge as well. It would be nice if the reward system was like that. Um, but yeah, Sally, it's not. Uh, Richie, hello. Welcome to the stream. 
active. Oh, okay, Marty, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, George as well was good. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, okay, well, that's that's fair enough. I guess we can let him off with that. But let's not forget, this is the same Ronnie that said that the token market was going to be opening up soon. So there's that. And we still wait for that full glitch. Let's go. Love it. Moses Malone, 14 balls. We need one more rebound. I think we might get that. I think we might get that. Uh, George, three players to go. But after this game, we're going to get ourselves the Pink Diamond Sydney Wicks. So we're only two players to go. And we're going to be live on Twitch later on tonight. And we're going to get the seventh player, which is Do uh, David de Boucher. Because we're seven games away from him. So we're going to be one player away after today. After tonight, we're going to be one player away from Galaxy Open Western Cell. We're going to get him tomorrow. Uh, and that, of course, means that, uh, that Thursday's video will be adding Galaxy Opal Wes Unselled into the team. And I'm very, very much excited for that. Our team is going to be changing around a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, we've got Pink Dark, we've got Galaxy Opal Moses Malone at the 4 and uh, D-Rob at the 5 at the moment. So I think now we're going to go for D-Rob at the 5, Moses Malone at the backup 5, and then Wes Unselled at the starting 4. I think that's probably how we're going to do it for the time being. Um, made up for the yeah yeah they did Mally for sure for sure for sure for sure uh, British playing 2k yes sir every day bro every day right why are people agreeing with this are people agreeing with this in the comments no I, I don't agree don't let ambush get one lol this ain't it I agree you've lost your mind I agree with that comment there so yes thankfully people are not agreeing with bringing about limited time locker codes my god I would hate it I would absolutely hate it. It's fine for DBG because the man's nocturnal. And whenever the codes are released, he would be awake for it. But uh, for everybody else out here, man, that's... Oh, no, they're, they're bad. Bad bad memories of it, man. Bad memories. The the memories of just being so frustrated at, at putting in a card, uh, putting in a code within, like, five or six seconds, and it comes up saying, you know, reach the quantity already. And then, yeah, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Um... Opal CPUs never miss on Hall of Fame? No, Hall of Fame's a doddle, bro. Pro difficulty, talk to me. That's tough. I'm with you. But uh, Hall of Fame's actually really easy. Hall of Fame's actually really straightforward. And I'm just out here chucking up threes on Hoff and we're up by 26. That's mad. Uh, Bailey, I'm going to make a video on it at some point. But uh, yeah, I don't want it back. I've seen it today. It's been recovered. It's been used in burglaries. Um, but I've seen it. It's in a horrible condition. I don't want any of it back. Um, and I'm just waiting to see from the uh, insurance company what's going to happen. But like I said, I rang them twice earlier on. and waiting for a call back. And it's now been like three hours. And I still haven't heard a thing. I love being let down by people. It's amazing. It's the best. I'm so happy right now. Uh, but Luca, another three. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Very nice, very nice. Uh, not staying up night. Yeah, exactly, Jordan. There is, there is, there is, there is. I know people who used to not go out on evenings, like, because they were waiting to put in a locker code that may or not come and then that they may or not get. Like, it's awful. Uh, Hammer? No, sadly, I didn't. Sadly, I didn't. It wasn't wasn't in there, as far as I could see. Oh, Luca with a three and a buzzer. As far as I can see, man, it wasn't in there, so that was sad as well. In general, it was just a, a sad, st sorry state, man. Like, like I said, they, they jimmied the the steering wheel airbag off, I guess. And they pulled out the steering wheel itself. It was so muddy and filthy everywhere. I just don't understand it. I'm looking at the pictures now and it's just making me sad. It's just making me sad. But yeah, maybe I'll put them up on Twitter at some point. Uh, Juice was good. Why would you commit burglary? It's such an obvious car. I don't know. And then why would you not even take the stuff that you've just burgled? I just... <laughs> so many questions. I just really hope they get found. I really hope they get named. I hope I could just talk to them one day and just be like, so did you actively, like, aim for my car? Were you just driving around and you found my car? Like, how did you keep it started? Like, how did you do it? Not that I wanted to do it myself, obviously. But I just want to know, like, how and why. That's kind of what I want to know, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, only Hall of Fame one I've struggled on is for David de Boucher. Okay, okay, Siege. Well, we'll be playing that one tonight over on Twitch. So we'll see if uh, see if they're going to be 
a struggle for me as well. Hopefully not. If it goes like this, we'll be all right. But I don't think this is going to be happening every time. I think this is not a trend. This is just a, a dead end. Uh, Juice Kid, I will most definitely not. If anything, I'm going to go ahead and find your account to block it right now. So hold on, my friend. Give me a second. Let me find your account. Where are you? Okay, I found you. Yeah, and block. Rip. Get wrecked. See you later. Um, Detective JD. Nah. Like I said they should. It's not like something stupid. It's not like a, a huge, like mad, bad crime. So it's not like their name should be protected. Like if they do get found and, and uh, convicted, their name should be released. So. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Strategy just spamming loads to follow, for me to follow him on Twitter. So I did the opposite. I blocked him on Twitter. Get wrecked. Um, Obi Tobin winning the tournament, you think? I think so. I think so. If we have a look at the voting right now, because we can, because this game is uh, very, very much done already. Uh, if you have a look at the voting in bracket two, we have got Jarrett Culver, 68% against Andrew... Andrew, Andre Drummond with 31%. So that's pretty much done. Jarrett Culver's getting through. Kemba Walker or Greg Oden is actually pretty even, 52 to 48. Uh, Trey Burke or JJ Redick, 53% for JJ Redick, 46% on Trey Burke. Obi Toppin or Christian Leitner, 87% Obi Toppin and 13% uh, for Christian Leitner. So at this point, it's pretty much guaranteed. It's Jarrett Culver, Obi Toppin. But then, is it going to be Greg Oden or Kemba? And is it going to be Trey Burke or JJ Redick? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Martins, yeah, I will. I'm not... Yeah, because so I'm just looking up here. I, out of Greg Oden and, and Kemba Walker, I don't really care for either of them. Let's be real. We've already got a pink diamond Kemba. He's not great. Greg Oden, I guess, could be nice. So I guess I, I did vote myself for Greg Oden. I'd definitely rather take a Greg Oden card. Um, as for JJ Redick and Trey Burke, JJ Redick always comes in just with such bad defense. Like, such bad defense. But then Trey Burke is six foot tall. So I don't know. I did vote for Trey Burke. Trey Burke, so... That was, that was where my vote went, did for, went for. Um, and obviously I voted for Obi, and obviously I voted for Jarrett Culver as well. So by the looks of it, it is, it is just going to be like how much just said. A Jarrett Culver, Obi, Toppin, final. Um, and I can't see any of the other cards getting through to the final at this point. Can't see it, man. I want JJ since a Magic fan, but I understand why people don't want him. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But you know, if he's an Opal, they should make him good. They should make him brilliant. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad at JJ Redick. I wouldn't be mad at JJ Redick. I'd be mad at Kemba Walker because ain't nobody trying to get Kemba Walker. Well, apparently, twenty thousand people are, but that's not the point. Um, and obviously, nobody wants an Andre Drummond. No one wants a Drum Drum. Nobody's wanting wanting this card. So hopefully, the community does a good. Um, how long are these votes actually up for? Let's have a look. God, dear Rob, what a rebound. Uh, how long are these votes up for? So we've got five days left on this vote. God, that's long, bro. So still another five days to find out, you know, what we're going to get. Any content? Nah. Well, Age of Heroes Super Packs, VC only. So basically no content. Ba basically uh, absolutely nothing. Really, Luca? Okay. Okay. Uh, you've got 100k. It's been the last week. Jeez, go get him, man. Hope it's Greg Oden because I need a good center. I don't think he's going to win it. He'd be a good card. Yeah, realistically, they should just make cards for the top two. You know, they they should do. Obviously, make the make the winner a lot better. But I think if they get to the final, they should be worthy enough of a card. Whether or not they are just going to make it one card only, I don't know. Especially if it's close. If, if the final comes down and it's like 50, 52, 48 or something like that, um, then then hopefully they'd see sense and just drop drop a card to... Please, everybody. A Spotlight Sim still going to be available next season. They are indeed, my friend. Uh, Richie's enjoying his Opal Scotty Pippin. How much did you pay for him? Because not a card that I've really looked at ever, I'll be honest. Uh, 98 OB and 97 Jarrett Culver. I mean, I think everybody would be pretty happy with that, man. I, think, I mean, they're not going to be Dark Matters, obviously. Uh, it's literally called a Galaxy Opal Bracket. So it ain't going to be a Dark Matter card. But yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, GT's 2k away from D-Rob. Go get him, bro. 
Go get him. Go get him. Uh, Mali, okay, okay, I see, I see. I don't know if I'll be able to put that into practice. Probably not, but for some reason, even on Hall of Fame out here, we're greening a lot with Luca. So things are working out quite nicely. Uh, do you think Season 6 will be about college legends or similar? It definitely could be. It could be something to do with uh, March Madness and whatnot. Uh, Matt, thank you very much, man. I do appreciate that message. Thank you. I know I've been... Really, really bad lately. These last few days uh, have been really poor and I've been slacking. Or this last week or so, I've been really slacking. So I do feel really bad about how, how the streams have been and uh, videos have been and whatnot. But hopefully things will uh, just keep on getting better from here. So like I said, as soon as, as, soon as I wrap up stream today, uh, I'm going to ring up the insurance for the third time today. Um, try and finalise that. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to try and finalise it and get it done. And out of the fucking way, because I'm just so fed up with it all. Um, and then I've got to find a new car, because at the moment I, I still has no car. And if you guys knew me, I, I did love driving. I loved my car, and yeah, all gone now. All gone now. Paid one forty for Opal Scotty. Damn, so great, Matt. Thank you very much, man. I do appreciate that. Season six, yes. Season six is coming around at a good time. I have to say, season six is coming in at a good time. So there's going to be plenty of content. You know, straight away this Saturday, it's going to be another Hall of Fame badge pack. Um, Get the Hall of Fame badge pack from uh, the Signature Challenge. So that's obviously going to be a good video. I'll be happy about that. See, so yeah, Friday, you know, we'll have a big old stream. We'll have a big old video as well. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, at this point, I have no idea who the level 40 is going to be. I know it's going to be a Dark Matter. But uh, who the Dark Matter is going to be, I have no idea. I think it'll be a Jimmer. It's got to be a Jimmer, man. Every year we get a good old Jimmer card, so... Should be. Will he be great and game-breaking? Not in the slightest. But will it be a fun card to use akin to Steph? Yeah, absolutely. Like, Steph's not the best card in the game, but he is a hell of a lot of fun to use. And Jimma will be in the same uh, in the same bracket, in my opinion. Again, another great card, but probably not the most defense in the world. Pat Larry Legend, congrats. Sell or keep? Probably just sell, man. I don't think his price is ever going to go up, let's be real. I think his price is just going to keep on going down. So, yeah. Who do I think the Domination Award is going to be? Oh, God, I've got no idea. Depends on the theme. If the theme is, like, out of position cards, it'll just be somebody out of position. If the theme is, like, Campus Legends or, like, College Legends or whatever, it could be someone like a, a Galaxy of Christian Leitner. Um, I think a uh, Galaxy of Greg Oden, if he doesn't win in this tournament. A Galaxy of Greg Oden, Galaxy of Christian Leitner. Um, Galaxy of Jay Williams. Jaleel Okafor? No, probably not Jaleel Okafor, let's be real. Um, people like that. People like that. Uh, Dark Matter glitched three point versus Simmons for level 40 is bet. Oh my god, that'd be disgusting. Imagine the hype for that. Shit. That'd be, that'd be on another goddamn level, man. That'd be on an absolute another level. Uh, any clue on when the tournament's ending? So it's got five days left on this vote. So probably a good couple of weeks. Because I imagine they'll then do another five or six day vote for the next one. So probably when March Madness actually ends, which is the 6th of uh, 6th of April, is when they're going to try and coincide that finishing, would be my guess. Would be my guess. Do you know if these challenges expire after the new season? They do not, man. They do not go anywhere. Ain't no way the majority of the community have got through this. Ain't no way. I'm struggling, and I play this game every single day, and I haven't even done half of it. Like, that's where we're at. Can we just appreciate... On Hall of Fame difficulty, 20 of 39. That's not bad. 50% on Hall of Fame? I'm actually really damn impressed. I don't think I've ever shot like that on Hall of Fame before. I don't think I've ever tried to shoot threes on Hall of Fame before, but... He's smashing it. And D-Rob's got 16 rebounds on his own. We only needed 15 as a team. And D-Rob is out here, man. So, yeah, it turns out you can't just shoot threes in... Hall of Fame domination or Hall of Fame spotlights, and it's actually not that bad. Look at Luca, bro. This Luca's so damn good. That's why I don't want to sell him, but I do want to get my money back. I do want to get my money back for whatever will come in the next season. I want to be ready. You know, imagine it is a point guard that's incredible at level 40, season six. We're not going to need Luca, and nobody else is either. So everybody will start selling their Lucas, and his price will come crashing down very quickly. And I don't want to be caught in that situation. Look at him in another green. There's 69. Jeez. Uh, the girl was not that hard to get. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. 
I mean, you still got to put a little bit of time in, but nowhere near the same amount of time that you had to put in to get uh, you know, people like Kawhi and not a lot, Kawhi and uh, Dwayne Wade and those type of cards. Right, should we see if we can push up to uh, 81 real quick? That's another green. Now he's got his takeover. Jeez. Luca's insane, but Luca is, is, yeah, he's ridiculous. This is Hall of Fame and he's making it look like Charles play, bro. I don't even shoot as good on pro. I don't even shoot as good on pro. This is half. I promise you, boys. You saw me. You saw me loading the game. This is Hall of Fame difficulty, right about here, man. And uh, Luke ain't, ain't playing games. All right, let's get two more. Let's get ourselves to uh, eighty-one points, and uh, we will leave it there. Oh no, I done bricked it. Oh no, we didn't. We're good. Uh, Aegis Tower, catch you later. Uh, Super factor out. Yeah, they came out an hour ago, bro. You're late to the party, my friend. You forgot about the clocks changing. We've been out for an hour, bro. <laughs> but the clocks are changing back this weekend, thankfully. So we go back to normal with it being a 4 p.m. content drop. This is insane. I mean, it's not bad for Hall of Fame. I'm actually really, really damn impressed. In the final three. Another green. 81 for Kobe. You'd love to see it. Anytime we can, we always stop at 81 points. It'd be rude not to, man. Hall of Fame difficulty with Phil Jackson as a coach makes it so easy. I mean, I've just won by 50. I don't win by 50 on uh, on pro difficulty. Mad. Right, 2K have just dropped a locker code, and it is for a guaranteed pack, and it's actually for a decent guaranteed pack. So S5, Age of Heroes Super Packs. S5, Age of Heroes Super Packs, and it is for a guaranteed pack. Quantum, Idols KG, Pantheon, Flash 7 or Retro. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. So we'll put that in in tonight's uh, No Money Spent episode where we'll be putting the Hall of Fame pick dodger of this guy right here, Luka Doncic. We'll probably be putting Ice in veins onto him as well, but I'm not sure about that. Like somebody says, I might keep that for Giannis. I think I probably will keep that for Giannis. So we'll just put pick dodger on to Luka, because I'm fairly sure that Giannis will already come with Hall of Fame pick dodger. 27 of 46 from three on Hoff difficulty. On Hoff div that's mental. I was not expecting that, but I'll tell you what, I will take it, man. Spooky with a 50 bomb. What? Hello, Spooky. What's good, man? How are you? I'm just checking to see if that's real. Oh, my God. Wow. W, to say the least, man. Spooky. I didn't even see you in there. I just put a heart. What a guy. Oh, my days. That's huge. Thank you so much. Awesome to see you still coming through. Thank you so much for supporting still. And we just got... Another card, and we are now just two away from Galaxy Opal, Wes Unselled, which is sick. Uh, right, you need to go. Spooky, thank you so much. What the hell? Let's check on Luca while we're here. I hope work has been going well for you, buddy. And make sure you put security on your cars, man, because I can tell you firsthand it's not fun <laughs> if you don't. I can tell you firsthand it's not fun if you don't. There's quite a lot of Lucas up, actually, boys, and that's not a good sign. There's three there within 45 seconds. So it does actually look like quite a few people are pulling these uh, super packs. It's like quite a few people are opening them. So I don't know how much that's going to affect prices. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see till tonight. Joe, what's good? Welcome, welcome. So this badge will be going on him. We're definitely going to put Pick Dodger on him. And we're going to save Ice and Veins, Range Extender, and Catch a Shoot for Yarnis whenever he decides to come out all right so tonight over on twitch we are going to get through the final four games for this guy right here dave de uh we will do pro all-star superstar and hall of fame that will leave us just five games away from west on sold which sounds pretty damn good to me would you guys recommend badging up sydney wicks like this is the team we're rocking with right about now would you guys recommend badging up sydney wicks or nah is it not worth it is it worth it or nah? Because I know he needs range. I know he needs a few other badges. I know his wingspan is not 7'11", as it was meant to be at the start. So I kind of think it's not worth it. Nah, nah, it's not worth it. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. In a few days, well, 
yeah, tomorrow, hopefully. Moses Malone will come down here. West and Seld will come in at the powerful position. Our team's going to look mad good. This manager already loved me, but even... Oh, that's hick spooky. That's sick. I'm so happy to hear that things are going well for you. I know it was rough at the other one, so I'm glad that the uh, transfer has gone well. And that's awesome, bro. You love to hear it. You love to hear it. Don't badge him. All right, I won't do so. I won't do so. But we will open up this card uh, in tonight's empty spent. So we'll open up two backpacks. Sydney Wicks will put in the locker code. Uh, we'll badge up Luca, and maybe sell Luca. 360 with no extra badges. Mom's got half clamps. And maybe sell Luca, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. Right, guys, that is going to do it from me. Spooky, thank you so much for coming in with the last minute buzzer beater on the donation. What a hero. So we're going to be live on Twitch later on tonight, guys. Twitch.tv slash JD underscore crossover. 8 p.m. GMT, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Hopefully, I will see you boys there. Thank you very much for coming through today. See you later and peace.